you're here, somebody we love, you can hold their hand or look at their eyes or touch their shoulder, whatever you can see. Recently here in Spain, we're going to pick my nose on you. Thanks, man. Uh, these two people were sitting behind us, and now they're going at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice! What does he mean by that? It was very easy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, they were just fine with it. What do you so, mean by going at it? <laughs> Imagine what you think I mean, and it's not far off. <laughs> it was, we were like, all right. Oh, <laughs> Dude, Beyblades at a cafe. Yeah, you <laughs> got some straight Beyblades. <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah, this one's called and cold. I want to hold you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Is Ben down here? Those armpits, man. Those yeah. fucking armpits. <laughs> armpits. You understand when you're older. I want to hold you. Because I know that you will hold me too. I want to hide myself somewhere in the crook of your neck, beneath your hair, between your breasts. Not because the world will solve itself while I am there hiding. And not because they can't see me as I close my eyes and turn farther into your chest. But because I am a storm cloud which lost its thunder and can't tell if it's simply departed like disco or a divorced wife with the kids or if it somehow got buried and I just lost the map because for a moment the span of a few minutes the hemisphere of an hour the minute hand sailing the white sea of inevitability with a tacit severity I can escape tuck myself away and withdraw into the translucent cocoon of your love both with you and inside of you and your love intangible at all times but these moments when it softly solidifies like moonlight mist descending into dew upon the skin of folding flowers tulips and lilacs bowing their heads in sleep or prayer or both and I charge and rest in your chest and your silence say everything and the way an envelope knows everything about a letter from their simple friction its fingers gliding like water over stone not just reading but knowing the water a half mile downstream tasting just perceptibly of granite because somehow here in this living room upon this sofa I am on Everest and can taste the upper atmosphere and see everything I forgot there was to see and I can explain nothing but understand everything and then because before the dryer's buzz or the movies end respectfully promptly aptly summons us before the phone rings or the macaroni begins to burn the lightning returns to the heart of the cloud the thunder is restored, singing baritone rings around the rain, waiting to pour out again, and we unfold. Thanks a lot. Last one. Woo! Woo! Yeah!